Welcome to Elmia 2016, the edition that's going to take you through BMW's 100 year anniversary and this guy's saw. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. All right, so I'm going to walk you through Elmia and uh, we're going to take a look at some cars, some um, cool builds, and I don't know what we could expect. So let's go. This is a BMW that I've been. Uh, working with quite a while, Tim Fredrickson, and he um, just put on a, a new livery for this year, a cool color actually, with some sparkly paint. The whole roof, the, the actual scoop is, uh, is colored in this, this sparkly, flaky paint. Looks, looks great actually. <gasps> That's a crazy card, oh my God, awesome. I want one. And um, yeah, it looks great. He's got some new wheels from Cosmos and uh, I'm interested to see what he's going to, to come up with this year. He has a new engine, uh, 2JC, producing about 700 horsepower, so he hopes to, to produce some real results, uh, a real newcomer, and uh, I, uh, I have ho high hopes for him. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna see if we can get some dumb B other BMWs in here, actually, since it's the anniversary, so uh, let's go. I said that we were going to look at some BMWs, but I have to stop at Goth Bill's booth. This is a crazy Lambo that uh, a reseller of, I think it's Brian James trailers, have put together. He strips the cars, he gets into molecules and then put them back together better than they've ever been before. And um, I'm not gonna go into detail because there's way too much, but you have to check this one out. And uh, this is a car I know a little, a little bit more about actually, Christian. Uh, who built this car, had the ambition to step away from his Volvo chassis last year and he's now put his his best efforts really to, to put this car together with a 2GC engine, he has the Rocket Bunny kit, his um, new really lightweight rims and producing tons of power. Actually for this car show he has actually driven this thing on track. So I'm interested in seeing how he will perform this year and with all the complication that drifting puts together for you and, and building a car and racing all over Sweden and, and Europe in general, he has really, really put this car together well. So I'm, 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 I'm stoked for, for Christian and his, his team this year. I think it's, he's going to get far. And uh, yeah, GTR, pretty cool, looks standard. and. Uh, Lots of other cool cars and... What the hell is this? What the hell? Ghost Rider tractor pulling team based in Sweden. Oh my God, 3.5 tons, 227 liter V12 Rolls Royce engines. Holy cow, what the hell? This is an abomination. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's gauges and noses and everything everywhere. 27 liters per engine. Holy crap. This is amazing. Fuck you, 2JC. You ain't got shit. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some, something else. Let's, uh, let's take ourselves to the BMW stuff. It says BMW 100 years. And the website right here, the Jägermeister Racing Team. There are some, uh, some really cool, there's the BMW i8, actually. One of the few cars in Sweden. And uh, they're not a lot built, actually, that I know of. Some new models, this is the M2, absolutely phenomenal car. Uh, there's actually going to be one more that I know of that is rebuilt, the first in the world, which is converted to a drifting car. So that's gonna be super nice and I can't believe that someone took apart this car and chopped it up to a drifting car, it's, it's amazing. And uh, behind me here, there are some pristine cars, really. And uh, I hope that you get to check all these out for yourselves. There are some roadsters and uh, I won't say much because BMW speaks for themselves, really. Hey, what, what's this? What the hell is this? There, there's there's a Volvo, I think, V40. There's a Ford, by the way, I won't look at that. <laughs> and it says Drift School on it. What the 
hell does that is there is there anything special with this car stock interior nothing out of the ordinary doesn't really seem like a, there's a lot going on but there there's writing on it this it says drift school so i'm guessing it's going to be some some kind of uh, training car practice car they're gonna do something oh wait wait no these are not actual tires these are these are hard these are hard plastics oh so this is one of these like uh like test sliding thingies that you can put uh, when you when you take a like a mcdonald's tray and you put them on your your back wheels of a, a front wheel drive car that's what this is that's awesome. And the Mantor Park is a, is a racetrack here in Sweden, so I'm guessing that they're gonna host it. I have to try out. I have to try that. that. That would be awesome. Thrashing in a Volvo V40, yeah! Man, that sounds so lame. That is so lame. So uh, this is the, like, the main entrance stuff, and, and there's always Volvos here at, at Elmia. And um, this year, Volvo 140, the model 140, actually turns 50. So that's pretty cool, taking a, I uh, actually think that's a Volvo, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into it, but this car is seriously low, and oh, oh, like, like that much. That, that's the roof space you have, so uh, your dog is not gonna fit in there. I think this had, had uh, some hydraulics and stuff they can race up the car like double its height so that's going to be interesting to see but yeah the 140 turns 50. that's pretty cool i guess for a volvo what i am into though is this one this is my kind of car this is a car that's built from the ground up six yes six different chassis it's a turbo engine built by an actual professor it's it's calculated by an actual professor so just that fact makes it makes it cool and it, I mean it has everything that you want it's a it's a rod it, it looks cool it's low but the funny thing is that this thing is built to race you see this thing time attack driver 2016 that means he is going to compete with this car in 2016 that's why he has these slicks on. He has custom rules made for this car because you, normally you would have wheel wells. Oh, oh, there, there's, there's an assignment. Oh. oh no. Oh God. They're, they're closing. What do you want me to do? Shut, lady, shut up. Shut the hell up. Shut up. It worked. It worked. All right, moving on. This car has created some special rules. You have to cover the wheels. You have to have the, the window streamer inside the actual, on the window. But since the window is actually the height of the streamer, he won't see anything. So it's on the roof. This car is amazing. It's amazing. There's nothing like it, really. And I can't wait to see this car just rip it on the track. And these slicks might not look so wide, they're actually 285s. It looks can be deceiving, but oh man, I can't wait for it. I just can't wait for it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna let you finish, but move on. Fiskbåtsmör röv. Okay, Beck Band Berg. Sorry. So, there's a photo shoot with the beautiful girl. There's a drift car. You're in the wrong part of town, lady. This is not supposed to be here. You know that. Hello, excuse me, I'm the director here. Oh, oh, this, oh. Uh, this Hi. movie scene. All right. Yeah, so. I want her to give me some more uh, ass. Give me ass, please. You heard the man. Yeah. You heard the man. I'm the boss, I pay you. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> All right, th this is the actual driver of the car and um, I don't know, he's from the southern parts of Sweden, he doesn't know any better, so he's in the wrong hall. So let's just move on, leave the man alone. I can't really speak for that guy. Perfect. 
What is this? What? What the? What the hell is this? What the? I have to look at this. What? Are, they're building something. What the fuck is this? Oh man, we gotta look at that. Oh, here's the the competing cars. That's gonna that's gonna drive tomorrow. Huh? This is uh, Tobias and his E36. This is uh, a new car for this year. Uh, Limit, he's actually called that. that. That means glue in Swedish. <clears throat> and this is Alexander. Remember the guy who got 50 million views on his E28 at Godville? That's this guy. He's a new, he has a new liver for this year. It's uh, similar to what he had yes, uh, the, the year before, sorry. And uh, he has some new internals. This pushes about 900 and something horsepower, uh, over a thousand newtons. Look at this, look at this. We made this. This, ah, this is our baby. And the limit was cool enough to put it on his hood. Looks great. Um, but who cares about these cars? I wanna see this. This is what I want. Let's go, let's do this. This fine gentleman actually finalizing these parts of the, I have no idea what this is. This is a big round funnel of, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Can, can you actually go up here? Is this safe? I'm not so sure about that. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's see what we can find in here. What is this? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I know what this is. Look at this. They're gonna drive bikes up this. This is amazing. Wow. Holy crap! This is dangerous. This is serious, seriously dangerous. But it's so cool. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be, be on here tomorrow and, and really... Oh, 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 this is sketchy. This is sketchy. Well, let's hope for no crashes this, this time. And uh, let's see what we can, we can get out of this. But wow, that looks super sketchy. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope no accidents happen, but that bike looks seriously sketchy. That is, uh, I mean, look at this thing. Is this what he's going to drive, really? It's a soda can. That's here. Well, you, uh, you make something work, it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? <laughs> wow. Oh, let's move on. Another BMW that we've actually been working a lot with is Jim Olufsen's E30 that, I that he built new for this year. Look at this. Mm, on rotors. Mm. And um, put a new engine in it. He has upgraded the body kit and everything. And the parts of building this car, you can see on our other, other videos. Uh, he has his own web show, so you can check that out. But it's a really cool car that he upgraded and, and nothing really stands out more than the attention to detail that he actually put in this car. So um, the car pretty much speaks for itself and it's an awesome BMW and a huge, huge congratulations to, to Jim who built this car with the help of his sponsors. So let's move on. So let's take another look here at some, something else. There's Volvo's clean Mercedes. This is a matte black V8 bi-turbo family wagon. What? That's pretty cool. This, however, I want you to look at one detail. It says GTR on this splitter here. I have a, have a feeling that that's it's, uh, not a st standard Z4. This is a car that's going to compete in the national series of Time Attack. This is an actual GT body kit that he fitted, which you can tell by the huge wheel wells that actually doesn't really fit around the wheel uh, because the huge slicks that they use in the GT series. And um, the cool thing about this car is actually it has a RB26. That's a Nissan Skyline heart and uh, he's going to really pack a punch this year. He tested out this car the last year and uh, he had some good results and now 
I think that he's going to really improve and I'm probably bothering quite a bit right now and I'm just gonna see if I can, I just, I just wanna look inside the car. If you, if you, sir, if you can just, okay, thank you. All right, <laughs> let's move on. This is the Swedish Volvo Club, the classic iconic cars, an 1800E. That's, that's a pretty cool car actually. And on this side, there are pretty, pretty modern cars. This is a Time Attack Evo built to the highest spec I think you can build really. Has been uh, competing in the national championship for quite a while. And I think that uh, he uh, is going to produce some real results. This car is something that I really, really admire. A Volvo 340. Not a lot of people build these cars to race with. And this has uh, a very unique style, I, I must say. I mean, what, what are these? What, what, what's this? It's, it's similar to an F1 front wing and uh, super unique. I think with this turbo, it's gonna produce quite a lot of power, I assume. Looks awesome. It has 578 wheel horsepower and uh, 250 kilos of F1 parts. That is very interesting. So this might actually be an F1 wing. I think I've heard about this car before and it's built from actual F1 parts. Wow, that is crazy. All right. Will we sync up for next also? And on this side, there's the two Nissans. The Nissan that is inspired by, uh, I don't know, Fast and Furious or, or uh, uh, I don't know really. It's the Gulf colors and um, it has very similar look to the, the Fast and Furious Nissan that we see. A 2JC, I think, or an RB. Can't really see from here. And uh, you know, the standard is 15, really. But this car, however, as you can see, it's an S14, some Rocket Bunny fenders and everything else, but it's not a standard S14. It's a Boss S14, the first one I've actually seen in real life, I think, with the American style front end. I think it's Challenger, Camaro, something like that. Uh, it's from Drift Monkey, I think they built it. Work wheels and everything, all the, the candy that you really can wish for, they've installed. I think the interior is pretty stock. And, um, but it's a cool looking car, it's a show car. It's not gonna be driven for quite a while, but sometime I hope. What is this? This is an S15. A convertible. What the? This is a S15 Varietta 2001. I'm just gonna do this. Work wheels. I actually know the guy who built this. Carl, his name is, and he uh, has this car to go out for ice cream. That's what he's gonna do. He also he also owns a uh, S14 thousand horsepower that he likes to slide with sometimes. This guy, this guy, can you believe it? Two cars, two amazing cars. And uh, well, some people will have it better or better, uh, depending on how you look at it, than others. Well. This concludes Elmia 2016. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure will. The, uh, the actual event starts tomorrow and I'm super pumped to be here. And I'll, I'll see you next time. Have an awesome time.